when you're on the golf course, nothing else matters. It's you and the golf course, hitting the ball, making a few birdies, uh, always brightens the mood. Even if you play bad, any, a bad day of golf is better than a good day at work. Physically, it's you get to walk, uh, you know, about 10K, particularly during COVID. It was the one activity that I could get out and do and still have a bit of social interaction with people. And I think that carries on, you know, even now. Whenever I'm here, I'm like training with friends, we go for a hit and it's like, it's really reducing uh, our stress and helps our mental a lot. So I came to Australia three years ago. I really struggled to meet friends. And I think golf is the most sociable sport you can do. You spend four hours a day without time, without pressure, and you speak to a lot of people, you have a good chat, it's really relaxing. Physically, I think, I mean, it's quite good low impact sport. Mentally, it's very relaxing, but I also like the social element. So like at the driving range in particular, obviously you can have some drinks, you can get some food. If you've had a long, busy week at work, to be able to spend out and be a bit more social. It's very sad uh, because the intention of this golf course originally was for the public. And for 110 years now, we've actually maintained that status where it's a public golf course, it's accessible to the public. I look around here and I see so much green space that's never being used. Um, and not only that, but there's a race course just down the road. This is used by so many people and uh, you come out here, you meet some really lovely people and it's just a great community atmosphere. I think it's a decision that's being made by people that don't understand golf. They're trying to make it out to be this elitist sport that isn't welcoming, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And it's just smacks of them not doing their research because that's not what Moore Park is about. It's not just a course; it's a community. So you're not just taking away, you know, part of the lifestyle for golfers. You're taking it away from everyone that visits the driving range, the putting green, everyone that, you know, people still park up and walk around here. Like it's. For me, it's baffling. I've just joined here and there's a great community. I think there's a lot of other parkland around that people can make use of. Um, I think it'd be a real shame to, to use to lose this great facility here. I don't like it. 18 hours is good. I love the um, front nine and back nine, and yeah, I hope they stay. I would say the New South Wales government, that they need to really have a hard think about what is the best use for this piece of land because you, I think if you actually spent time on this course, you'd realise it's golf. If you're proposing to make more room for a park, then at least work with us and allow us to have an 18-hole golf course. Reducing it to nine holes, you're just sabotaging people's life. Some of us are really rely on playing golf here to stay healthy and happy and you know, have the best life. There's no reason why we can't keep 18 holes here and still share this place with the community as well, even more so than we already do. I'd be really pleased if they could revisit it. Um, I understand what they're trying to achieve and I think working together we can actually bring that together and there's a lot of opportunities there. Um, golf's very much an important part of this city. A lot of visitors come here and all we want to do is find a solution where both people can be winners out of all this and maintain the status.